On this tutorial guys, you will learn on how to paint the basic landscape, the basic group of pumpkins, and many more. And guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more free painting tutorial in the near future and also updates on my channel. You can also find the list of colors that I used to this demonstration. Just scroll down below to the description of this video. You can find the list of colors. For the sake of this tutorial, guys, I'm going to use 10 inches by 12 inches plain white canvas. First thing to do is I'm going to create the first layer background here, the sky. I'm going to create a, a basic landscape on this canvas. I'm going to paint the titanium white on this area. Titanium white. Just there. Before I'm going to proceed my sky, I'm going to create the boundary for my uh, land and also the sky. I'm going to use this cobalt blue for my boundary. These are the, uh, this line is, this horizontal line is for my boundary. This area if, is for my sky and this area is for my uh, land and other subject on this area here. Continue painting the titanium white guys. I'm just going to paint titanium white here so that I can easily uh, blend my other colors to that area. The next thing to do is I'm going to paint directly the cobalt blue on this area here. Just paint directly the cobalt blue. I'm using 1 inch flat brush for my sky, just there. I'm going to paint here at the very top of my canvas. Just blend this cobalt blue to the color background, just there. Then after that, I'm going to uh, paint the titanium white, a lower portion of this blue color, and just blend this titanium white there. Create a very, very nice color of my sky on this area here. Just continue. Just continue adding with the titanium white and it should be blend this titanium white with the color of my sky. Just there. Continue adding the titanium white here to create more uh, nicer effect in this area. Just there. It's gonna continue blending this color until I get the exact what I want. Then the next thing to do is I'm going to create the uh, this one here. I'm going to paint the uh, yellow color for my sky. In this area, the yellow at the nearer part or the nearer to this light source or my sun. Just paint directly the yellow color there and also just blend this color, the color background or the blue color. Just add the blue color here at the upper portion of this yellow. I'm going to clean my brush here before I'm going to blend or continue blending to this area. To create a very nice color of my sky here. Just there. Then after that, I'm going to add more titanium white on this area for my sun area. Just then I'm going to clean my brush here before I'm going to continue blending on the, on the titanium white to the yellow color. Just scrub this brush. Just observe my brush strokes guys. Just there. It's very nice. It's very nice sky there. Just scrub a little bit until uh I get the exact or I I get the exact color that I want to the sky. Just there, it's very nice now. Then after that, I'm going to mix the color of the cobalt blue and a small amount of Mars black color, and add small amount also the violet color. Just there, and just paint here for the shading of this. I'm going to add the uh. The shading or the clouds. Just add the purple color or the violet color to the cobalt blue. Just add small amount of marsh black. Just small amount of marsh black. 
to create this color. I'm just continue adding with this here for my color of my clouds that are not uh, yeah, too much uh, affected by the lights coming from the sun. Just there and also just blend this color to create a nicer color effect to the clouds or in, to the sky. Just there. And now after that, I'm going to uh, blend again. I'm, first, I'm going to clean my br brush. Then scrub this again to create a very nice color blending on this area, on the sky. Just there. It's very nice now. Just there. And also just blend. I have my very nice sky on that area there. Then the nipples yellow. I'm going to add also the nipples yellow for my near clouds. Just selecting the area for this nipples yellow. Just blend also this color to create a very nice color of my clouds in this area. Just there, just blend again. I'll just add more nipples yellow and also just blend this color. It's looking good now for my sky. Just add more nipples yellow here, a little bit nearer to the sun. Just there, and just blend also this color. So now I have a very nice sky in this area here. Then I'm going to mix the color of the cobalt blue and also the titanium white. The cobalt blue and also ju just mix these two colors but it should be more, more titanium white to create the sky blue color. And add a small amount of cadmium orange or orange. Just small amount of orange. Just there. And just paint here. I'm going to add more titanium white on that to create more lighter sky blue. And just paint here for the uh, lighter uh, clouds or the highlight of these clouds. The clouds that are uh, affected by the lights or the light source. I'm still using my 1 inch flat brush. Just there, just continue adding with this color. Just there, it's very nice now. Then I'm going to add also the titanium white for more lighter color of the clouds or more highlight color or highlight effect to the clouds. My light source is my sun area is here at the left side of my canvas. So I'm going to add more highlight color facing to the uh, sun. That's why I'm going to create more highlight to the left side. Just there. Just continue adding these clouds here. Just looking good in that area there. Now I'm going to paint also the... Just continue adding painting or painting the uh, cobalt blue at the very bottom this sky this painting and scrub just scrub a little bit going to the upper portion just there it's very nice sky here just add more cobalt blue and also just blend this cobalt blue we have a very nice color of my sky in this area here Just continue uh, scrubbing this brush to the sky. Just there. It's very nice. I'm going to change my brush. I'm going to add the mountain in that area. So I'm going to mix the color of the cobalt blue and also the Mars black color. The cobalt blue in the Mars black color to create this, to create the darker uh, sky blue. Just paint here for my mountain. 
going to create the mountain on this area here. Just there. Just creating the mountain here. Just continue there. Just continue adding with the mountain. Mix again the cobalt blue and the Mars black color. Or the black color. Paint here for the shading effect to this mountain. Add more uh, mountain here. A little bit nearer to the sun. For the far mountain. Just there. And also just blend this color. Just blend this color to create a very nice blurry effect to this mountain here. Just looking good for my mountain. I'm going to add more uh, dark color. I'm going to mix the color of the Mars black and the uh, violet color. The violet and the Mars black color. Just paint here for more uh, detail on this mountain. Just there, it's very nice now. I'm going to uh, add the uh, shading first before I'm going to add the highlight. So that I can uh, create a very nice color color my mountain here. Just there, paint again or just mix again the violet color and the black color to create more darker color for the shading of this mountain. I'm going to add first the shading before I'm going to continue adding the highlight of this mountain. Just blend this color, create a very nice color of the mountain there. I have my mountain in that area. It's very nice now. Then next thing to do is I'm going to create the uh, highlight of this mountain. I'm going to uh, add the, uh, mix the color of the nipples yellow and the cobalt blue. Just small amount of cobalt blue to the nipples yellow. Just paint here for the highlight of this mountain. Just there. It's very nice. Very lovely color here. I like this color. Just mix again the nipples yellow and also the cobalt blue. Create this kind of color. Just paint here for more, uh, a little bit highlight color effect. This mountain. Just add more nipples yellow. Just there. It's very good looking mountain. A very nice and very uh, interesting mountain here. Just continue adding with the highlight color. Just there. Just add more nipples yellow. It's very nice mountain. I love this mountain. Mountain color. Very far mountain there. Just continue adding with the nipple yellow. Just mix again or add nipple yellow to the color that I mixed earlier. The nipple yellow and the cobalt blue. Just there. It's very nice for my mountain here. Just looking good in that area there for my highlight effects. I'm going to mix the color of the nipples yellow or just paint directly the nipples yellow first. For I'm going to add more uh, uh, highlight color. Just continue adding with this nipples yellow for this mountain or for more highlight effect. Just selecting the area here. Just there. It's very nice now for my mountain color. Just looking good. Just looking good here. In the Mars black color, I'm going to add also the Mars black color for the uh, shading. A little bit shading to this highlight and give more uh, detail to this mountain. Just there. Just adding the Mars black color for more detail of this mountain. Just looking good. Add more mass black color just there. I 
Oh, it's very nice mountain here. Yes, adding more much black color for this. The marsh black color just looking good for my mountain. This area here just looking good in that area there. Very nice mountain. And I'm going to mix the color of the nipple shell on the titanium white. Just mix these two colors to create the lighter color. Just mix again. Nipple shell on the titanium white. Just add here. Add more titanium white and just paint here for more highlight color effect to this area. Or just paint directly the titanium white. I'm not going to paint the uh, just separate the color. I'm not going to paint the nipples yellow with the titanium white. Just there. It's very nice now for my mountain here. Just there. I'm going to add more detail to this area here. Just paint also the nipples yellow on this area. I'm going to paint the nipple yellow here, just there, and also the uh, marsh black color, just small amount of marsh black, just small amount of marsh black to this area for the shading of the uh, this mountain. Just blend this marsh black color to the uh, color of the mountain or the first layer color of the mountains there. Just looking good in that area there. And also this one, I'm going to add more detail of this area. I'm going to paint directly the marsh black color here. Just blend this marsh black color so that it will uh, create a very nice shading on this area here. Just adding the marsh black color. Add more marsh black color here for the color of this mountain or the near mountain or the shading because this mountain is not affected by too much light can from the, the sun or my light source that's why it's it's dark just blend this color to create a very nice color effect to this area just there it's very nice now for my mountain in that area I'm going to uh, mix also the uh, black color and the blue color start here for my nearer mountain this area on the side just continue there it's very nice now that area but I'm going to mix the color of cobalt blue and the titanium white but it should be more titanium white to the cobalt blue and just paint here just blend this sky blue color at the lower portion of this mountain just blend this color to create a very nice color blending or the uh, fogs this area just mix again. It should be more tight in white to the blue color so that it will create a very uh, lighter sky blue. Just paint here. Just blend also. Just there. It's very nice. It's very nice now in my mountain in that area there. Just continue blending this color so that it will create a very, very nice fogs effect to this mountain at the very bottom of this mountain or the feet of this mountain here. Just there. Then the titanium white. I'm going to add also the titanium white to create the lighter uh, fogs. Just continue adding the titanium white for the fogs effect there or the clouds in that area. Just blend also this color so it will create a very nice color in this area of my fogs. Just blend a little bit here, just there, it's very nice now. Just continue adding with the titanium white. Just observe my brush strokes, guys, so that it will, uh, uh, you can create what I have here or I can follow. Just continue adding with this fogs effect. Now we have a very nice color of the fog there. Then I'm going to continue adding with the uh, the near mountain. It should be more, uh, or I'm going to paint directly the cobalt blue here. Just cobalt blue 
for the uh, little bit highlight of this mountain here. Highlight that's reflected from the uh, sky, cobalt blue, just directly paint the cobalt blue for the highlight effect to this area. Just there, it's very nice now for my mountain, that area. And then I'm going to add a small detail on this mountain. I'm going to use the uh, light green color for a little bit of uh, green color. The near mountain, I'm going to add the green color or using this light green color and just blend this light green color so that it will like, create a very nice color here. Just blend, just there, it's very nice now. Also, this one here. Just continue there, it's very nice and a very good looking mountain here. Just blend. Just blend this color to the color of the lower portion, of the lighter. To the fogs, the blurry effect to the uh, to this area. Just there, it's very nice mountain there. Then a little bit highlight using the yellow green color. Just more highlight there. Just looking good for my mountain. Adding with the uh, yellow green color. Adding for the highlight effect to this mountain. Just there, it's very good looking mountain now. Then using the hawker green, I'm going to add a little bit shading here. Just add a little bit of small shading to these grasses here using the hawker green. And also just blend this one. Just blend this hawker green. Just blend there, it's very nice now. Also this one, I'm going to give small highlight effect to this green color or the grasses or the trees under this mountain. Just there, it's very nice and a very gay looking shading there to the uh, grasses on this mountain or the trees to this mountain here. Now we have a very nice mountain there. Just there. Now let's continue here. I'm going to add also the yellow green on this area here. Adding the yellow green color. Just blend this area. Because this area is affected by the lights coming from or nearer to the sun area. Using the yellow green color. Just blend also this color to create a very nice color of this mountain here. A little bit nearer to the, uh, to the sun. Going to add that one there. Just blend so that it will create a very nicer blurry effect to this mountain here. Just there is very nice color of the mountain there. Then the light green color. I'm going to add also the light green color here. Just paint the light green color a little bit nearer. This mountain is nearer. So I'm going to paint the light green color. Just there is very nice and good looking mountain here light green color just paint directly the light green color yeah that's looking good in this mountain nearer mountain just there it's very nice mountain there for my nearer mountain here it's very good looking there in the hawker green I'm going to add the hawker green for the uh, detail Just there, I'm going to add the hawker green for the shading of these grasses, grasses to this mountain. Just there, it's very nice, very nice mountain there. Just continue adding with this hawker green, just selecting the area. I'm not going to paint everything here, the hawker green. Just selecting the area that probably that the lights that not hit, does not hit to the, uh, to the side there. Uh, it's very nice color. My mountain here. Let's continue adding the yeah, the light green color. 
just there. It's very nice and a very uh, beautiful mountain there. Looking good from this area here for my mountain. Just continue there. Now we have a very nice mountain. We have a very nice mountain beside us there. Just continue and just blend also this color to the, uh, the, to the fog's effect. Now we have a very nice mountain there. I like this view. Just there. It's very nice now. Now we have a very good looking mountain there. Just continue. I'm going to add also the uh, yellow green color. A little bit uh, highlight. Let's add small highlight here. Yellow green color. Just continue adding this yellow green color. Just looking good. Add the yellow green color to create a very nice color the mountain and just blend also this color to the uh, fogs effect so that it will create a very nicer blurry effect to this side of this mountain there. Just there. It's very nice now. Now let's continue in this side here. I'm going to paint also the yellow color here. This is only the base color for my subject in this area. Just there. That is only the be the base color for this area here. That's there. It's very nice now. Let's continue adding with this area here. First, I'm going to mix the color of the uh, yellow color and the Mars block. The black color. Just mix this color and just paint here for my trees in this area. Or just add more Mars black color. The la the black color, create more dark color here. These are my trees in this area here. Just there. And then I'm going to uh, mix the uh, black color and the blue color. Create this kind of color here and just paint here. Just paint directly here. Just there. It's very uh, the base color or the shading effect to this area for my trees. And also just paint the Mars black or the black color. Just paint directly here for my trees in this area. Just there. It's very nice now. Going to add first the trees in this area here. Just there. Just blend this Mars black color. Create a, a nicer color effect. Just there. Paint the Mars black color. Just add more Mars black color. Just looking good. I'm going to add the subject on this area or the trees on that area there. Then I'm going to paint directly the uh, light green color for my trees on this area. Light green color. Then I'm going to add the uh, highlight effect the using the yellow color for my trees on this area here. Create a very nice. I'm going to create the colorful trees in that area there. Just there. It's very nice now. These are my trees in this area. Now it's very nice there. Then continue adding the light green color for the leaves that are not affected by the lights. That's why I'm going to paint the light green color. Although this is the highlight, but and not too much highlight. That is not uh, affected by direct sunlight or heat by the uh, or the rays coming from the sun. Then the next thing to do is I'm going to create also here. So I'm going to uh, paint directly the violet color, violet color here for the base color of my trees. Another color of the trees in this area, just there. Then the uh, cadmium orange. I'm going to paint the cadmium orange here for another color of my trees on the side. Just paint the cadmium orange. Just there. Just continue adding or just continue painting with this cadmium orange. It's very nice now. I have a very nice tree in that area. Then just continue here. I'm going to paint the light green color. Just continue painting with the light green color. Just there, it's very nice tree. I have a very nice tree. There, then the uh, hooker green. I'm going to add also the hooker green for the uh, shading of this tree. The hooker green. Ok, 
Okay, just there. It's very nice now. Then adding the light green color. Just continue adding the light green color. Just just there. Just follow what I did here, or just observe my brush strokes. Then after that, I'm going to add more trees. Using this yellow green color, I'm going to add also the yellow green color here for more color effect to this tree here. The yellow green color, I'm going to add the yellow green, directly paint the yellow green for more uh, color of the trees. Just there, it's very nice now. Just looking good. For the highlight of this, the tree, I'm going to use the uh, yellow color for the highlight. Just there, it's very nice tree in that area. Just continue adding with this yellow color. It's going down. Now I have a very nice and colorful trees in that area there. After that, I'm going to paint directly the, the hooker green, the very lower portion of this area. The hooker green to control the uh, light color. Just continue adding the hooker green. Just there. Now let's continue here. I'm going to mix the color of the uh, black color and the cobalt blue. Just paint here. Directly paint here for the uh, base color, this area here. Also this one. Going to mix again the cobalt blue and the Mars black color. Just paint here at the very lower portion. Not going to paint everything there, but just selecting the area. I'm going to leave the uh, white portion of that area there. These are my these are my soil and the grasses in this area here. I'm going to add a uh, closer subject in this area. That's why I'm going to uh, leave a little bit uh, light color there. Then I'm going to mix the color of the cobalt blue and the titanium white to create the sky blue color. Just paint here, just directly paint here. Also just blend this color to the uh, background color. Just there, just paint for the base color here. This is only the base color. I'm going to add another subject to this area here. So I'm going to paint only base color using the sky blue color. And the cobalt blue, I'm going to paint, oops, just the cobalt blue. Just there. Now I have a very nice color background that area. Then the Mars black color. Just selecting the area for the grasses. This is only the grasses here. Just selecting for the Mars black color. Using this half inch flat brush. For my grasses. This is only the uh, base color guys. So don't worry about the... Uh, there, this is not the final color. This, uh, this is only the uh, like a sketch or sketch this area, but it's there and just looking good. Let's add more marsh black color. Just do what I do here. Just observe what I'm doing here to my brush stroke, or just observe my brush strokes. This is only the uh, base color. Let's continue there. It's very nice now. But my base color is there. That's there. I'm going to uh, lighten this a little bit. I'm going to uh, paint there a light green color. Just blend this light green color to the Mars black color. So it will create a very good looking grasses there. Just there. I'm going to wait this one until it dries so that I can proceed here and add more uh, subject to this area. Uh, I'm going to wait this until it dries so I will be back if this a layer, a lower portion of this canvas it's it's dry before I'm going to continue this painting. I'll just continue here guys. I'm going to mix the uh, Cobalt blue and the Mars black color. Just mix these two color, the cobalt blue and the Mars black color. 
I'm going to create something, uh, another subject to this area here. Just a small subject here. I'm not give more uh, detail for this subject, but just the uh, part of this painting. I'm going to create this subject here. Because more detail I give is in front of this here. Just uh, there. Then after that, I'm going to add a detail, a little bit detail to the subject. I'm going to uh, mix the color of the cadmium orange and the marsh black. The cadmium orange and the marsh black color. Just mix these two colors to create a this kind of color here. Just paint here. I'm going to create the abandoned uh, barn house of that area there. Just adding paint directly the cadmium orange. Just there. The Rushina color. I'm going to add also the Rushina color and tighten the white. And add small amount of marsh black color. Small amount of marsh black. Just there. Just paint also here. I'm going to paint also the nipples yellow here. Highlight effect of the roof. Highlight effect of this roof here for the barn house. Just there. Then the Rushina color. I'm going to paint directly the Rushina color also here. This is for my roof, this barn house. Scarlet red. I'm going to mix this scarlet red and the uh, titanium white. Scarlet red and the titanium white. And just add small marsh black color. Just there. Then the uh, rushina and the uh, scarlet red. I'm going to mix this one. The rushina and the scarlet red. Create this kind of color and just add small uh, violet color. I'm going to add also here for my roof this barn house. Just there. Then I'm going to add detail. I'm going to all detail this one. Mars block. Adding this detail here for the barn house using this marsh black color just observe my brush strokes guys just there just this one also a little bit lower portion I'm going to clean my brush then this one I'm going to add that one there I'm going to mix the color of this scarlet red and the marsh Marsh black color, scarlet, scarlet red. The marsh black color, just paint here. Just there, go into this area. Then the marsh black color, I'm going to paint the marsh black color. I'm going to paint the marsh black color here. Just looking good. Then the marsh black color of this side of this roof. Adding with the marsh black color, just there. For my barn house of that area there. Then I'm going to mix the color of the uh, scarlet red again, the only marsh black color. And just add rushina color, just small amount of rushina. The color that I mixed earlier, the Mars black and the scarlet red. Small amount of Rushina, just paint here. For the color of this uh, wall, of this barn house. 
just there it's looking good now in the mush black color just scrub a little bit here the uh, gutter portion of this barn house just there it's looking good then the uh, nipples yellow going to add the nipples yellow also just small amount of nipples yellow here it's a small amount and just blend also this nipples yellow going just observe observe what I'm doing to my brass just there oh, I have my barn house in that area there this one I'm going to add also detail that area using this nipples yellow I'm going to add detail here just looking good in the marsh black color at this area a little bit uh, to the gutter portion that there just continue adding this uh, I'm going to continue this one here I'm going to paint directly also the uh, or just mix the color of the Rushina, the three colors, the scarlet red, the Rushina, and the small Mars block. Just there and add and add small amount of titanium white. Just small amount of titanium white there. At the this in just there. And just paint here for the or the front side of this barn house. Just there, it's very nice now. Then the uh, dark Karushina, I'm going to add that one. The dark Karushina just makes the Rushina and the Mars black color. Just paint on this area. Just looking good from my barn house on that area there. Then the uh, I'm going to add a uh, small uh, highlight. Let's add small highlight here for the gutter portion of this here. Just looking good that area. Just continue there. It's very nice now. Then I'm going to continue this one. I'm going to add also the highlight using the Naples yellow for my barn house on this side. Just looking good. Give some detail here. Just there. I'm going to mix the color of Nipples Yellow and the Titanium White. Just mix these two colors, the Nipples Yellow and the Titanium White to create more lighter uh, yellowish color. Just paint here at the upper portion for the highlight effect from the roof to the roof. Just there. getting better now it's getting nice very nice then also this one of the lower portion for the highlight effect coming from the sun just there then the Mars black color I'm going to add the Mars black color also for this one here to give more detail on this uh, barn house Just there, and the nipples yellow. I'm going to add the nipples yellow here. Just adding the nipples yellow. Just looking good for my barn house in that area. Then the door. Just add the marsh black color. The door of this barn house using this marsh black color. Going to extend my uh, this one here. I'm going to extend using the Mars black color. Just looking good there. Then the Mars black color. Just continue adding the Mars black color. There. Just continue here. The lower portion. Just looking good for my barn house there. Continue adding the marsh black color. Just there. It's gonna proceed going to the this area. I'm going to mix the color, the cobalt blue and the titanium white. 
just add Mars black color to create the darker uh, sky blue like what I have here and just paint here for the base color there I'm going to create the cliff in this area there it's very nice now just looking good then the Mars black color I'm going to add also the Mars black color or just mix the color of Mars black and also the cobalt blue just paint create a darker color just there this is my cliff to this area just looking good in that area there it's very nice now just there in the Mars black color I'm going to paint directly the Mars black color just selecting the area here the Mars black color going to that area there it's very nice now now let's continue here I'm going to mix the color of the cadmium orange and the Mars black color to create the darker orange I'm going to paint here just selecting the area here for my cliff on this area of this side the left side of my canvas just there I just mix the color of Naples yellow and also the scarlet red the Naples yellow and the scarlet red small amount of scarlet red to the Naples yellow just there I'm going to paint here selecting the area here for this a uh, cliff just looking good for my painting to this area just there it's very nice now just continue here adding with this color just blend also this color to create a very nice color effect just there I'm going to add a, uh, a sky blue color the sky blue color this one has the back portion I'll just I'm going to uh, the darker sky blue here for a little bit of uh, highlight effect with the back portion and also minimize more uh, warmer color for the uh, that there in that area Then I'm going to clean my brush here and then continue blending. Just continue blending here. Just looking good. A very nice cliff on that area there. Then after that, I'm going to uh, cadmium orange. I'm going to add also the cadmium orange. Cadmium orange here. Selecting the area for the cadmium orange. Just there, it's very nice. You can get my then continue painting with the Naples yellow for more highlight effect to this cliff and the stones or the stone cliff, this area here. The Naples yellow, I'm going to add the Naples yellow. Just there. Then the Mars black color to give more detail. This cliff, add more detail. This one here, Mars black color. Just there. Continue adding with the Mars black color. Just blend this Mars black color here at the very lower portion. Because this lower portion is not affected by the too much uh, lights. I'm going to add more detail on that area. The light green color. I'm going to add the light green color. Just looking good in this area here. Light green color. 
Then I'm going to paint directly the uh, yellow color of this area for the trees, the lighter trees that are affected by too much lights coming from the, to the sun. In the cadmium orange also, I'm going to add the cadmium orange for the uh, more color of the trees to this area. Just there. And also the cobalt blue. I'm going to add also the cobalt blue for the trees. The cobalt blue here. Just there, it's very nice now. Just blend this cobalt blue to create the blurry effect. Blurry effect of the trees, just looking good. Then the uh, hawker green, I'm going to add the hawker green for the darker uh, gra trees on this cliff. Just there, it's very nice now. It's very nice and very beautiful to this area here. Just looking good. Just there. Then I'm going to create a blurry, a small blurry to this area. Or the faded effect or I'm using a lighter sky blue for that. So I'm going to mix the color titanium white and also the cobalt blue. Titanium white and the cobalt blue. Just paint here just blend also just there just create another uh, the lighter the lighter sky blue then just blend or it 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 would wash effect the wash effect it should be more uh water to the sky blue so that it will uh, create a very nice color of the uh, faded effect to this area let's continue adding this here the uh, lighter uh, just there it's, it looks like the fogs effect to this uh, area that's very nice it's very nice to this area very beautiful view here just there now let's continue here i'm going to add directly the or paint directly the nipples yellow in this area here for the highlight this house highlight I'm going to add more highlight effect to this house here or the uh, barn house in this area then i'm going to mix the color the nipples yellow and also the uh, titanium white to create lighter uh, lighter color to add more detailed barn house here just continue there it's very nice now then the rushina color I'm going to add also the rushina color just there it's going to add more uh, highlight effect to this barn house the rushina color Just there, it's a very nice barn house here. Just looking good. Just continue this area. Just there. The, the marsh black color, I'm going to add also the marsh black color. Just there. Also this one, the marsh black color. I'm going to use the marsh black color for the uh, shading effect under this roof. Then the nipples yellow, I'm going to add the nipples yellow for the extension of the roof. Just there, and also the titanium white. I'm just paint directly the titanium white for the highlight, highlight of this roof. This one also, the titanium white, just there, it's very nice. It's very nice barn house here. Let's continue with the highlight color. Oh, very nice barn house there. This one I'm going to add also the small highlight here at the gutter portion. Just there. The Rushina color, I'm going to add also the Rushina color here. Just there. Going to this side here. 
Just looking good for my barn house now. And the Mars Black Color. Adding the Mars Black Color to control more lighter Arushina or the Rushina Color. Control that one there. It's very nice now. The Mars Black Color at the lower portion. Just looking good there. Now we have a very nice barn house here. I'm going to mix the color the Rushina and also the titanium white. Let's mix this color. Just paint here for the lighter uh, grasses to this area. Just there. It's very nice now. Just mix again the Rushina and also the titanium white to create more lighter color on this area this area is affected by too much uh, highlight coming from the sun that's why I, I'm going to uh, paint this one the highlight color just looking good in that area there very nice just there and also the Rushina color I'm going to paint also the Rushina color just there it's very nice color of this area here. Just looking good in that area. Then the darker Rushina, I'm going to mix the color of the hooker green in Rushina color. Create more dark color and just add the small amount of the uh, violet color. Just paint here for the darker uh, grasses to this area. Just selecting the area for this color because this color is a little bit darker. Or I'm going to paint here for the uh, shading area for the shading of the grasses there. I'm going to use the uh, bigger brush. Maybe I'm going to use the uh, half inch flat brush there. Just paint here for just paint your. Uh, Mars black color just there then the yellow color I'm going to add also the yellow color just there it's a very nice color there then the yellow green color I'm going to add also the yellow green for my grasses effect Just there, it's very nice. Very nice here. And the yellow green color, I'm going to add yellow green color at this area for the grasses. Then the hooker green, I'm going to add also the hooker green. Just blend the color, the yellow green, and also the hooker green to create this kind of color, kind of grasses there. Then the rushina, I'm going to add also the rushina color. Just add the Rushina color here for more grasses effect to the soil here. Just there. It's a very nice color of the uh, ground. Just continue there. With the hooker green, I'm going to add also the hooker green for the darker grasses. Just there. And also the yellow color. I'm going to add yellow color. Yellow color here for more color of the grasses in this area. Just looking good. Now oh, we have a very nice color of the that area there. Then the darker uh, Rushina. I'm going to mix the color of the Mars black and also the Rushina color and just paint here. Going to paint this area here for the darker. Then the the hooker green. I'm going to add also the hooker green. Just there. This area, this area is not affected by too much uh, light coming from the sun. Then the Mars black color. I'm going to add the Mars black color. Just blend this Mars Mars black color to the uh, uh, hooker green. Just there. It's very nice there.
light green color I'm going to add also the light green color for that area there to create a very nice grass to this area just looking good there light green color just continue adding the light green color just to make this good and a very nice area just looking good now got a very nice view in that area there then i'm going to add also the nipples yellow here for the soil of this area the nipples yellow just there Soil portion going to down area. Just there, it's very nice. Very nice. Just there. And also the Rushina color. I'm going to add also the Rushina here for my soil. We just mix the color of the cadmium orange and also the red. Red and the cadmium orange. Just add marsh black or the black color to create this kind of color here. Just paint to this area. Just there. It's very nice now. Just continue going down there to create a very interesting uh, subject here at the very uh, bottom. Just looking good there. Then the cadmium orange, I'm going to add also the cadmium orange here for more color effect to the grasses. This area. Just there. And also the yellow color. I'm going to add the yellow color. Just looking good in that area. Let's continue here. Going down there. It's very nice now. Then the yellow green color, I'm going to add also the yellow green color. The lighter uh, grasses here. Again, going down there. Then the hooker green, I'm going to add also the hooker green. Just observe my, my brass strokes, guys. The yellow green color. Just looking good now. It's very nice. A very uh, colorful uh, view. Just there. Now let's continue there. I'm going to mix the yellow color and the titanium white. To create the lighter yellow there. And just paint here for the uh, highlight effect. Just add more titanium white to the yellow to create more lighter yellow. Just there and just paint here. For more highlight effect of the grasses here at the ground. The grasses on the ground, I'm going to, cr to create more uh, lighter color there. Just add more titanium white on that. To the yellow and to create more, uh, more, more uh, lighter color in this area for my grasses. Or the highlight of my grasses to this area there. Now we have a very nice and very colorful uh, ground there. Beautiful ground on that area. Then the next thing to do is I'm going to uh, mix the color of the Mars Black and also the the Rushina color. Just paint here for my nearer grasses there. Just looking good. Just continue adding with this color. Also just blend the color there. Just going down there. That's very nice. I'm going to mix the color of the blue color and the Rushina. Oh no, the titanium white and the blue color to create the uh, uh, sky blue color. Let's add more titanium white for that. Just there. I have the perfect sky blue. Just paint here. I'm going to add the water in this area. Just there. Just looking good in that area there. Just clean my brush. Then the cobalt blue, I'm going to add also the cobalt blue here. Just blend this cobalt blue to create a very nice color of the water. Just blend sky blue color. 
just there. With the hooker green, I'm going to add also the hooker green for the call of the water in this area. Hooker green, more hooker green for that there for the call of the water. Just there. Just looking good on that there. So I'm going to continue this one there. I'm going to mix first the uh, blue color and the Mars block. The blue and the Mars block there. Just mix this first. I'm going to add this one here with a darker uh, sky blue to create the darker sky blue here for my water effect on this area. Just blend this. Just there, it's very really nice now. For my water effect to this area, the Mars black color, I'm going to add also the Mars black color. Just there. Just looking good for my water effect to this area here. Just continue there. This is very nice now. The sky blue color. Sky blue color to this area. Just blend the sky blue color. This is my uh, reflection color, or the lighter color, that reflected to the, uh, the paint directly, the titanium white. This is my sky, reflection of my sky to the water. Paint directly the titanium white there. Titanium white for the water reflection of my sky to the water. Just there. Just continue there, okay? Very nice color of the water in that area. Just looking good. Now, we have a water in that area there. In the cobalt blue, I'm going to add also the cobalt blue. Cobalt blue. Just adding the cobalt blue here to give more emphasis to the water color. Just looking good in that area. Then the Mars black color. I'm going to add also the Mars black color. Just observe my brush strokes, guys. Then the Naples yellow. I'm going to add also the Naples yellow here. For the re reflection of the uh, cliff to the water. Naples yellow. Just there. Do the nipples yellow there for the reflection of the nipples yellow to the water? Then the cadmium orange because they have the uh, small cadmium orange there. Then I'm going to add also the cadmium orange here for my water reflection. Just there. It's very nice. Then after that, the cobalt blue. I'm going to add the cobalt blue. Just adding the cobalt blue here. Just there, the cobalt blue. I'm going to add a oh, cobalt blue here for the uh, little bit of uh, shading or the uh, wave effect to the water. Add it with the cobalt blue. Just there. Now we have a very nice water there. The titanium white. I'm going to add also the titanium white. Titanium white for the reflection of the sky, the water. Add more titanium white. Just there. Very good. And also just blend this one here. Now let's continue here. I'm going to paint also the uh, Mars black color in this area. I'm going to add the uh, sand. Sand to the uh, water or the uh, stones or the soil on this side. Just there. 
Then the Rushina color. Going to add also the Rushina. Going to add the Rushina here. Just there. And the mask black color. Just looking good. I'm going to give more detail on this water. The Mars black color. I'm going to add also the Mars black color here. Just looking good in that area. Just continue here. The Mars black color. Just blend this Mars black color to the color of the titanium white or the highlight of the water. Just looking good in that area there. Oh, very nice. Then the, I'm going to mix the color of the Rushina and the Hawker Green. Let's mix these two color. It should be more Rushina color. Just add here. Spain directly to Rushina. So before I'm going to continue this one there, I'm going to add also the detail on this area here. I'm going to add more detail. First, I'm going to uh, paint the Mars black color at this lower portion. The Mars black color there. This one also. Then the Rushina color, I'm going to add the Rushina color. Rushina color here. For the uh, grasses. The grasses effect there. Just looking good. Just there. Then the titanium white and the Rushina color. Going to mix this one. Titanium white and the Rushina color. Just mix. This paint here. Just there. Then the cadmium orange. I'm going to add also the cadmium orange. Cadmium orange, I'm going to paint directly the cadmium orange here. Then the Rushina again, I'm going to paint the Rushina color. Just there. In the yellow color, I'm going to paint also the yellow color. I'm going to add this color here for more uh, color effect to the grasses. Yeah, yellow color, the cadmium yellow. Just there. It's very nice now. In the Rushina color, I'm going to add also the Rushina color. Let's continue adding with the Rushina color. Just there. In the Hooker green, I'm going to add also the Hooker green. Uh, I'm not going to paint everything here. Just select the area for this Hooker green. Just there. It's very nice. Continue adding the hooker green color. Hooker green. Now we have a very nice grass to hit in this area. Hooker green. Let's add more hooker green to this area here. Just there. It's very nice now. Then I'm going to add also the meeple's yellow. Nipples yellow here for the uh, soil to this area. The nipples yellow. Just there. And the cadmium orange. I'm going to add also the cadmium orange. Then I'm going to mix the color of the yellow and the titanium white. Yellow and the titanium white. Or the cadmium yellow. This paint here. Titanium white and the yellow color. Just mix these two color and just paint here. Just looking good. One more highlight effect to these grasses. Just looking good in the area there. And just continue painting the Rushina color. 
Let's continue painting the Rushina color here. Select tender area there, create a very nice grasses on this side, just there. Now we have a very nice grasses in that area there. I'm going to add also the cadmium yellow for a more uh, highlight effect for the grasses here. Cadmium yellow. These are my mirror grasses to this area. Just there, then Rushina cover with a Rushina color. Just looking good. Just there, and the hooker green. I'm going to add also the hooker green. Ochre green color, just looking good. Just there, it's very nice grasses now. The hooker green here, hooker green, just paint the hooker green. Now we have a very nice grasses in that area there. Then the marsh black color, I'm going to add also the marsh black color for the uh, the shading of the grasses in this area, the marsh black color, just paint directly the marsh black color. The bit is shading part of the grasses. Marsh black color there. Just looking good now. In the cobalt blue, I'm going to add also the cobalt blue for more color of the grasses. So adding the cobalt blue. Just there. Add more cobalt blue here. Just add more cobalt blue. Just looking good. Add more cobalt blue here. Just there. That's a very nice color of this part. Now let's continue here. I'm going to finish this first, the water. So I'm going to mix the color of the Rushina and the uh, Scarlet Red and add Mars Black color. Just there. And just paint, just paint this area. Just there for the base color for my uh, sand and soil on this area here. Then after that, I'm going to paint also the Rushina color. Paint directly the Rushina color here. Just there. Creating the uh, sand and stone in that area. Then after that, the uh, Naples yellow. I'm going to add also the Naples yellow here. Just looking good. Just blend also this Naples yellow. Create a very nice color of the uh, soil and also the sand and stones to this area here. Just there. Then after that, I'm going to continue this water here. So I'm going to mix the color of the blue and the titanium white. Just mix these two colors to create the sky blue color and just paint. Or just paint directly the titanium white here. Just paint directly the titanium white on this area. Just there. Just scrub a little bit for this color. And after that, the uh, I'm going to paint directly the hooker green. Just paint directly the hooker green and just blend this color. Hooker green. Paint more hooker green here for my color, my water. Just there, it's very nice now. It's very nice water area. Then after that, I'm going to uh, paint also the blue color, the cobalt blue. Just paint directly the cobalt blue here for my water.
just there just looking good for my water in that area there and I'm going to create the shadow of that there so I'm going to mix the color of the nipples yellow, the cobalt or the uh, cadmium orange just there and just paint to this area here for the shadow just observe my brush strokes guys just paint here so you can create a very nice and also the nipples yellow going to add also the nipples yellow here just there going down there Just looking good. Just looking good in that area there. Now we have a very nice water reflection. The cliff that are reflected to the water. Now, just like that there. Now it's very nice. Very nice there. Then the marsh black color and also the cobalt blue. I'm going to mix this one to create the dark sky blue. Just paint here, just uh, to control the edges, the edges of this color here for my water. Create a very nice there, and also the cobalt blue. I'm going to paint also directly the cobalt blue. Paint directly the cobalt blue here. Just there. It's very nice water for this area just there now let's kind of finish this water here so i'm going to mix the color of the rushina and the mars black color the rushina and the mars black color i'm going to paint this one here just paint here for my stones and and also the uh, the sand to this area, just blend that there. Just there, and also the Mars black color. I'm going to paint the Mars black color here. Paint directly the Mars black color. I'm not going to paint everything, but just selecting the area for this Mars black color. Just there. That's very nice sand or the base color. This is the base color here. Just there, it's very nice now. It's very good looking for that there. That's very nice. Just there. Just continue adding with the Mars black color. Just there, it's very good looking. And then I'm add also the Rishina color. Just there, just selecting also the, uh, the area for this Rushina color to create a very uh, nice color effect of my underwater uh, tones and suns. Just paint directly the Rushina. Just there, and also the nipples yellow. I'm going to add also the nipples yellow. Paint the nipples yellow here. Just paint directly the nipples yellow. Just there, it's very nice. Just blend this color also. Just control the edges of this nipples yellow and to create the blurry and looking good. Uh, just there, it's very nice now. And I'm going to mix the color of the blue and the tide in the white to create the sky blue color. Just and just paint, just paint here for the water. Just observe my brush strokes, guys. So observe, observe what I'm doing to my brush. Just continue adding with this UV effects to this water using this uh, sky blue color. Just there. Uh, a very nice color of the water. This area. Just looking good, my water. Then I'm going to uh, continue this one here. I'm going to 
paint directly the mars black color for my subject I'm going to add subject on that area there I'm going to use my half inch flat brush I'm going to use this half inch flat brush so then I paint directly the mars black color here just there I'm going to add the grasses here just looking good that area using the mars black color then I'm going to add also the, the light green color here the light green color for my grasses light green color here just selecting the area for this light green color just there oh, we have a very nice good looking grasses there in the hooker green I'm going to add also the hooker green just selecting also the uh, area Just there, and also the uh, uh, yellow color, the cadmium yellow. Just paint directly the cadmium yellow, and also just blend this cadmium yellow with a very nice color of the grasses there. Let's add more cadmium yellow here, a little bit nearer to the house, or the barn house there. Just there. Now let's go into continue this one here. I'm going to Paint directly the uh, mask black color. And paint here the mask black color for my uh, post, for the paint, the fins. Going to add the fences here, or the post for my fins, just there, the three post, just looking good in that area there. Then after that, I'm going to uh, give detail to this foot post just paint directly or just mix the color of the cobalt blue and the titanium white cobalt blue and titanium white just paint here just there and also this one the sky blue color mix the uh, blue and the titanium white to create the sky blue color just there and also this one then the uh, the rushina and also the cadmium orange I'm going to mix this one rushina and the cadmium orange and add marsh black color or the black color just paint to this area Another color of the uh, that side there, that side wood of this this side, this post. Everything just mix again the rushina and the cadmium orange and mars black. Just paint here in my wood or the post of that wood in that area. Then the rushina color. I'm going to add also the rushina color. The Rushina, just there, paint directly the Rushina color. Just there, then the cadmium orange. I'm going to add also the cadmium orange for this wood. Cadmium orange, just there. Then the Mars black color. I'm going to add the Mars black color a little bit lower of this post. Because this post is not, this area is not affected by too much light. That's why I'm going to paint this one in marsh black color to remain a dark color, marsh black color. Just there, it's looking good for this post. It's looking good. Now I have my pose on that area. Then I'm going to give more uh, uh, color this pose. So I'm going to add that one also the the nipples yellow. I'm going to paint also the nipples yellow here for this wood. And this one a little bit highlight this edge. Just 
almost there. This one also, I'm going to add highlight to this edge here. And this one for the more highlight effect. Just there. Now we have a very nice color of the post in this area. This one here, a little bit highlight, small highlight there. Now we have a very nice. Then the lighter sky blue, I'm going to create the lighter sky blue. Just mix the blue and the titanium white. It should be more titanium white. And just paint here. Just there. Paint a little bit back portion of this pose. Just there. Then I'm going to add also the Mars black color. Or I'm going to mix the color Mars black and the blue color. Create the darker sky blue. And just add to this area. Just add here. And just blend also with the lighter sky blue to create a very nice color effect for this post. Just there. Now we have a very nice dot post there. Then I'm going to add the uh, grasses on that, on that area. So I'm going to paint the hoker green. A little bit there. At the lower portion of this uh, post, gonna paint directly the hooker green. Just there, paint directly the hooker green. This area, very nice grasses here under this post. And after that, the uh, light green color. I'm going to add also the light green color. I'm going to change my brush. The light green color. Just paint directly the light green color here. Just there, the light green color. Paint the light green color here. Create a very nice color of the uh, grasses under this uh, post. Just there. Just looking good. I'm going to mix the color of the nipple yellow and the titanium white. Just add more titanium white to the nipple yellow. Just paint here to lighten this area. Just paint here for more uh, light color in this area here. Just there. And also this one. I'm going to uh, add also the lighter uh, color. I mixed earlier the nipples yellow and also the titanium white. Just there, and also just add also the nipples yellow for the color of my soil and the grass. Just there, the rushina color. I'm going to add also the rushina color. Add the Rushina color, selecting the area here. Not, I'm not going to paint everything on that area. Just there. And the hooker green, I'm going to add also the hooker green here. Just observe my brush strokes, guys. This is my grasses in this, in this area, in this ground. Just there. Now I have a very nice color of that area. Then the cadmium orange. I'm going to add also the cadmium orange here. Control more lighter uh, color in that area. Okay, that's it. Then I'm going to continue this one. I'm going to add more uh, soil color, or I'm going to add the. Uh, I'm going to paint directly the uh, ochre green to this area for my color of the grasses. Ochre green. Paint directly the hooker green this area here. Just there. For the base color here of the grasses, this area. Then after that, the, uh, the light green color. I'm going to add also the light green color for the uh, highlight of these grasses. Just there. Just looking good. The light green color. I'm going to add the light green color. Four more grasses color.
Just observe my brush strokes, guys. Just there. It's very nice now. Oh my grasses. That area there. And after that, I'm going to add also the uh, titanium white. I'm going to mix the color titanium white, the cobalt blue, and also the marsh black color. Just add this one here. I'm going to add here for the circle. This is my another subject color. Just there. Also this one. Circle like. This is my pumpkin. I'm going to add pumpkin on this area. This is my base color here. Add more circle for the pumpkin. Just there. I'm going to add also the small pumpkin here. Just there. This is only the base color guys. So just add also the basket here. I'm going to add a basket, the base color of my basket here. The light color. I use light color so that it will uh, it will easily uh, give a uh, detail or the lighter detail for my basket. Just there. It's only the base color, so just there. Just we can do just continue adding with this color to lighter uh, sky blue mixed with a small amount of marsh black. Just there. Now we have a good uh, also this one. I'm going to add also pumpkin here. I'm going to add the pumpkin color. Another pumpkin. This one also inside this uh, fins. I'm going to add the pumpkins there. Also this one. I'm going to add more lots of pumpkins in this area. This one also here. I add the pumpkin. It's there. I have lots of pumpkins there. I think that's enough for now. I'm going to mix the color of the Russian and the Mars black color. I mix these two color to create the darker uh, color or darker Ushina. This is for the base color here for my basket. This is only the base color. Mars black and Ushina color. And also the Ushina, just paint directly the Ushina. A little bit uh, inner portion of this basket. Just there, and after that, the, the Rushina color. I'm going to add also the Rushina color paint or paint Rushina color for the color of the basket here. Made up this basket, basket is made up of wood, the wood basket. Just there, Just continue here, and also the nipples yellow. I'm going to add the nipples yellow. Just add and paint also the nipples yellow. Just there. Also this one I'm going to paint also. The darker Arushina. Just mix these two colors. The Arushina and the Mars black color. Just paint this one here. Just there. Then the Arushina color I'm going to paint directly the Arushina color here. Paint directly the Arushina color. Paint directly the Rushina color here for this basket. Just there. Just there. Then the nipples yellow. I'm going to paint also the nipples yellow. Just paint directly the nipples yellow. Just there. Then the uh, cobalt blue and the uh, marsh black color. I'm going to mix this one. A little bit. This one here, the lower portion. 
Just there. Just nice and good looking on that area. Then the sky blue color. I'm going to mix the sky blue color with Mars black. Uh, the sky blue, tight blue and tight in white. Just add also here. Just, and also the Mars black color. I'm going to add the Mars black color here. Or just paint directly the Mars black color. This one here. That one there. I'm going to add more design of this basket. So I'm going to uh, uh, paint the Mars black color here. That one there. Then after that, I'm going to give more detail on the on the basket using the nipples yellow, nipples yellow, and using the tight the pointed brush. I'm going to add also this one here. Nipples yellow, that one there for the color of this area or the mouth of this basket. Just there. Then the Mars black color. I'm going to add also the Mars black color. Just there. And then the uh, cadmium orange. I'm going to add also the cadmium orange a little bit inside of this basket. To give more uh, detail, cadmium orange there, just there. With a very nice, good looking basket there. Then just continue. The Rushina color, I'm going to add also the Rushina color. I'm going to add also the Rushina color, just there. Very good looking basket here that I have here. Then the Mars black color, I'm going to add a little bit here. Just add small Mars black and just blend this Mars black color to keep more a uh, little bit detailed. Just blend this Mars black color, guys. Just there. Just blend, just there, the inner portion of this uh, basket, just looking good, this one also, it's very nice and very good looking uh, basket, the Mars black color, Just there. Before I'm going to proceed this one, I'm going to finish this first. The mouth, of this basket. I'm going to continue adding with the nipples yellow here to this basket. Just there. Just continue adding with the nipples yellow. Just there. And also the mask black color. I'm going to add also the mask black color here using this pointed brush again. Mars black color here, just looking good. Then the nipples yellow. I'm going to add also the nipples yellow. Water right there. Wash. Looks like wash effects. This basket there, just looking good. And also the Rushina color. Rushina and the uh, cadmium orange. I'm gonna mix these two colors, the Rushina and the cadmium orange. Just paint on this area. Just blend also. Then the marsh black color. I'm going to add also the marsh black color to give more uh, wood color here. And the design of this basket there. I'm going to give more uh, color using the Rushina color here for this basket. Paint directly the Rushina color.
just there. So this is down here. Just there. Then I'm going to uh, mix the color of the sky blue color. Titanium white and the blue color. I'm going to mix these two colors to create the sky blue color. Let's paint here, lower portion of this basket. Let's paint again the sky blue color. And the Mars black color, at the very very lower portion of this basket, the Mars black color. Mars black color again. Now let's continue here. I'm going to mix the color of the red and the blue, or the uh, cobalt blue and the uh, scarlet red. Going to paint this one here for this ring. Ring that are made up of metal. Just there, just continue. Just mix again the blue and the red color to create this kind of color or the lavender color. Just there. Just there. In the Mars black color, I'm going to paint also the Mars black color, the lower portion, lower portion of this uh, ring for the shading effects to this uh, ring there. Then after that, I'm going to mix the color of the blue and the titanium white to create the sky blue color. Just paint here. Add more titanium white, just paint here for this ring. Just paint here, just paint again here, just there. Then the lighter uh, color, I'm going to add titanium white to the color that I mixed earlier, the uh, red and the blue. Add more blue color. Just there and just paint here for more lighter color here. Just there. I'm going to add also the lighter color on that area there. So I'm going to mix the color of the uh, titanium white or just add more titanium white to the sky blue color. And just paint here for more lighter effect, for the lighter color. Just there. Just add more. Just paint this one here. More lighter color. Just there. Then the Mars black color. I'm going to add also the Mars black color. Just there. Then I'm going to mix the color of the titanium white and the uh, nipples yellow. It should be more nipples yellow and titanium white. Just paint here to create more lighter color. Just there. I'm going to add also the blue color. Selecting the area there and just blend this blue color. Just there, and also this one, I'm going to add more detail on that there. I'm going to paint directly the titanium white, but I'm going to blend this titanium white so that it will create a very nice color of the uh, of this ring. Let's blend this titanium white here. Just there, very nice now. And the blue color, I'm going to add also the blue color. The Mars black color, I'm going to add more Mars black color here to separate this color or to separate this ring to the basket and also the lighter sky blue. Just there. And the uh, scarlet red or the red color, I'm going to add also the red, this one. 
we need to blend this color also to create this that one there now we have a very nice color of my uh, basket there I'm going to add also that one a uh, the uh, what do you call this one the algae Let's paint here a little bit the algae effects to this basket Need to add more uh, algae effect to this basket here just there you need to add more algae effect here to this basket with a looking good uh, old basket here just there it's very nice now then I'm going to mix the color of the cadmium orange and the marsh black color pink here for this pumpkin, I'm going to create this pumpkin here. The cadmium orange, I'm going to paint directly the cadmium orange for this pumpkin. Just there, the pumpkin. I'm going to paint directly the cadmium orange for that there. Just there. In the Mars black color, I'm going to paint also the Mars black color. Just looking good. Then the yellow color, I'm going to add the yellow color here. Right there, then the cadmium orange also. Let's continue adding the cadmium orange to this pumpkin color. This is only the base color there. Let's continue adding the cadmium orange also this one I'm going to paint directly the cadmium orange here for this pumpkin just there then the uh, darker uh, color cadmium orange and also the marsh black color to create the dark color dark orange just paint here oops just add more here just there this is only the base color later I'm going to add more detail for this pumpkin also this one one there I'm going to add more the pumpkin color Put one there this one also I'm going to add the color Put one Put one there and also this one orange color let's add more orange color there it's very nice now then let's continue adding with the with this one here I'm going to give more detail type yellow color the cadmium yellow it's only uh, the uh, basic pumpkin just there then the Rushina and the Marsh black color. I'm going to mix this one. Create this kind color or the darker Rushina. Just paint a little bit lower portion of this here with the shading of this pumpkin. Just there. Just there. 
then the cadmium orange I'm going to add the cadmium orange for more uh, detail for this one this pumpkin there that one there is very nice this is the basic pumpkin right there then the uh, going to mix the color of the blue and also the uh, light green or the uh, co the hooker green and the blue color just paint a little bit lower portion of this camp pumpkin for the uh, for the shading just shading this pumpkin there just there yes making uh, just add more detail there then the light green color I'm going to add also the light green color In the marsh black color, a little bit lower portion. Adding with the marsh black color there. Just there. Create a very nice, good looking pumpkin. Or the basic pumpkin in the orange color. Just there, then the hooker green. I'm going to add also the hooker green. Put this pumpkin there in the titanium white, and also the light green color or the orange, orange and the titanium white to create the lighter or the uh, highlight effect to this pumpkin there. Just blend also the lighter color, just there. Then the orange yellow, or the orange. Need to add also the orange. Then the blue color, just there. It's very nice. I'm going to finish this first. In the hooker green, I'm going to add the hooker green. One there, hooker green for the shading of this pumpkin here, or the nipples yellow. I'm going to add the nipples yellow just there. The orange, just blend this orange, orange just there, just blend this hooker green with a nicer effect to this pumpkin. In the titanium white, I'm going to blend also the titanium white here. Just there. This pumpkin here. Very nice there. Cadmium orange. Just continue adding this cadmium orange to a more lighter uh, color of this pumpkin. Also just blend this color. Just there. Also that one there. The hooker green. I'm going to add also the hooker green at the lower portion of this color for the uh, shading of this pumpkin. Hooker green. I'm going to add the hooker green here. Little bit shading effects to this pumpkin there. Then the the orange color, the cadmium orange. Just there. Just looking good. Then the uh, titanium white. I'm going to paint directly the titanium white for the highlight effect. Or just lighter sky blue. Let's add the lighter sky blue for this. Lighter sky blue. I'm going to mix the color of the blue and also the uh, titanium white to create this lighter sky blue. That's there. This one also here. I'm going to minimize more green effect. For the green color, just there, in the cadmium orange, continue adding the cadmium orange here, in the lighter sky blue, just continue adding with the cadmium orange, 
just there cadmium orange here for this pumpkin so let's continue adding this cadmium orange just there also this one the cadmium orange just blend also this cadmium orange then the scarlet red I'm going to add also the scarlet red and just blend the scarlet red here for more a little uh, shading in this area here just there just looking good continue adding the orange or the cadmium orange for this pumpkin here then the hooker green I'm going to add a hooker green for that there just blend also this hooker green lower portion for uh, for the uh, darker uh, or the shading of this pumpkin I'm going to use this uh, hooker green color this one also here just there and also this one this one also for the shading this pumpkin then the light green color I'm going to add also the light green color just there and also this one the light green color light green color there the light green color just there then the uh, blue color the sky blue the lighter sky blue I'm going to paint this one here Then I'm going to create the uh, leaves of this pumpkin. I'm going to mix the color, the uh, cobalt blue and the titanium white. Just creating the leaves to this area. Right there. Just there. Then I'm going to mix the color of the hooker green and also the titanium white. And add cobalt blue. I'm going to paint an additional color here. The hooker green. I'm going to add also the hooker green. Hooker green. Just there. Adding the hooker green there. the scarlet red I'm going to add using this uh, pointed brush then I create the detail for this pumpkin just there can I create more detail for this pumpkin just there Just looking good. This is only the uh, outline for every pumpkin on that area there. Just there. Then after that, I'm going to uh, mix the color of the scarlet red and the yellow color. Scarlet red and the yellow color. It should be more yellow. Just there. I'm going to mix this one here or just add or just add scarlet red and just paint here a little bit detail for this every pumpkin here I'm going to mix the color of the uh, cadmium orange and titanium white mix these two colors to create the lighter orange I'm going to paint this one here Add more titanium white to the orange color or the cadmium orange to create this kind of color here. Let's paint, create more highlight effect to this pumpkin. Just 
is there for this highlight color this pumpkin here just there and also this one going to add the highlight effects for this pumpkin that's there then the cadmium orange I'm going to add small detailed for the cadmium orange here and the uh, scarlet red I'm gonna add the scarlet red here for the color or the shading to this area here just there the scarlet red I'm going to paint directly the scarlet scarlet red for the shading of this pumpkin just there in the cadmium orange I'm going to paint directly the cadmium orange also the cadmium orange here paint directly there just there cadmium orange I'm going to add more cadmium orange here and also this one I'm going to add First, I'm going to give details using the scarlet red. Scarlet red here. Then the uh, orange color, or the cadmium orange. Just there, and also this one, the cadmium orange. Let's add more cadmium orange there there yeah, out more detailed and also the shading of this can pumpkin scarlet red I'm gonna add the scarlet red here for the shading effects just clean my brush then continue adding the shading of this pumpkin then the cadmium orange I'm going to paint the cadmium orange just there, it's very good looking pumpkin there. Just looking good, just looking good in that area there. Then let's continue. I'm going to give more uh, uh, color of the uh, the leaves here for this pumpkin. Going to use the uh, hawker green, hawker green there. For my pumpkin uh, leaves on this side here, the hooker green. Adding with this hooker green there for the leaves of this pumpkin. The base color, going to add the base color of these leaves. Just there. Then the light green color mixed with the uh, blue color, the cobalt blue. The light green color. Going to add also this one here for more uh, color of the leaves to this area here. Just there. Then the uh, the uh, sky blue color. I'm going to mix the color of the titanium white and the blue color. I'm going to add the lighter uh, leaves here. For this pumpkin color. Especially the far uh, portion of the sleeves, it's more lighter or the bluish color of the leaves here. My leaves, the far portion of this color of the leaves to this pumpkin. This pumpkin's there, it's looking good. Let's continue adding the uh, little bit bluish or the sky blue color. For the uh, farther uh, leaves for my pumpkins, there. Then the uh, hooker green. I'm going to add also the hooker green for the, uh, the shading. This every leaves here so are not affected with the uh, uh, lights uh, under. That's why it's dark under that there. Let's continue adding with the shading of the leaves. Every leaves just there. The hooker green just there now it looks like a good 
Cam Pumpkin. The Hooker Green. Just continue adding the Hooker Green. Just there. Hooker Green there. Hooker Green. Just there. Then the sky blue color. I'm going to create the sky blue color. Blue and the titanium white. Little bit highlight there. Just looking good. Pumpkin there. Just there. It's very nice. Pumpkin or the basic pumpkin in that area there. And I'm going to add the grasses here. I'm going to add the grasses to this area using the light green color. Just there, the leaves of these grasses here, and also the cad or the yellow color, cadmium yellow. Just there. Very good looking uh, color of the leaves there. Just looking good. Just there, and also the cadmium orange. I'm going to add the cadmium orange. Just there. It's very nice in color of the uh, grasses in that area there. And also the cobalt blue. I'm going to add also the cobalt blue here. Cobalt blue. The sky blue color for the highlight. Just there, it's very nice now. I have a very nice and also the scarlet red. I'm going to add also the scarlet red. Scarlet red here, the lower portion, just there, and the uh, highlight using the nipples yellow also. Highlight color this this coloring uh, plants there and the cadmium orange I'm going to continue adding the cadmium orange the cadmium orange there and we have a very nice and good looking there the Rushina I'm going to add the Rushina here then the lighter Rushina makes the color of the uh, titanium white and the Rushina color. Just there and just paint here. Just there. Now I have the color of very nice view in this area here. This is my basic pumpkins. Now we're done with this painting there. You know guys, we're done with this painting demonstration. We have a very nice view here and a colorful painting. I hope this demonstration is helpful for you. And guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more free painting tutorial in the near future and also updates on my channel. You can also leave comments and hit like button below this video. And guys, thanks for watching. See you for my next painting demonstration. Peace.